Blender. Okay. I want to show you something interesting that I've noticed. And I, and I knew uh, Blender 2.8 was quicker and a little bit more efficient in some things than uh, 2.79. However, I run across something that really demonstrates how much more efficient 2.8 is. Now, what I have here, of course, this is opened in 2.79. I have a molecular script simulation, and it's already baked. So, since it's already baked, and it's basically just a particle system, I can open this molecular script scene up in 2.8, even though the molecular script add-on doesn't work for 2.8. Because once it's baked, it's baked. But anyway... I'm going to move to a random location in the middle of the uh, timeline and then look how long it takes to change locations. Now you probably didn't hear it click. Now I'm going to say click whenever I click the mouse to move to a different location. Click. And you see it's taking like four, five, five seconds to move to that new location. Now, this right here is the same scene, but it's open in 2.8. Look how much quicker it is. Click, click, click. It takes like a half second, maybe three quarters of a second versus five seconds. And the render time is also less too. Uh, let me... Uh, let me go to a specific frame that way we can compare frame to frame I'm on, I'm on frame 400 and I'm going to click render now th this scene has 3 million particles so it's going to take you know 20 25 seconds probably to do the pre-processing for each frame but it will see I done a test frame earlier and it took about 41 seconds now I'm, I don't I'm not doing a whole lot of passes I'm only doing 64 passes and I'm rendering with GPUs two GTX 1060s and as you can see see it's doing pretty quick it's now uh, let me I have a um, denoiser turned on the uh, artificial intelligence denoiser, not the built-in ver version. And as you can see, it took 48 seconds. And of course, that's with screen capture running also. Now, I go over here to 2.79, put it on frame 400. Well, I have to wait for it to go to 400 because it's slow. Missed it by one. All right, hurry up now. I ain't got all day. La -da 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 -da. Well, is it gonna go? I don't think it's gonna go. There we are. Finally on frame 400. Now let me click render, and again I'm using. Uh, two GTX 1060s and we'll see how long it takes it took what 48 seconds and uh, 2.8 it looks kind of like this part is a little bit slower in uh, 2.8 uh, pardon me in 2.79 also And of course, I'm using the artificial intelligence denoiser on this one also. But see, I'm already up to 41 seconds, 42 seconds. Sorry. There you go. It took 55 seconds. So you're talking 
taking seven seconds less to render um, than, pardon me, 2.8 is taking two point, I'm getting numbers mixed up in my head because I, I just got up a little while ago. I haven't had my coffee yet. It's taking about seven seconds less time and to render in 2.8 than in 2.79 and it takes only a half second to go frame to frame versus five seconds in 2.79 I just thought that was interesting so there you go anyway later people thank you for watching this video here are four other videos you might like if you liked this video, please give it a like, share, or leave a comment. I try to respond to every comment on every video regardless how old the video is. Also, please support your favorite YouTubers by disabling ad blocker. Thanks again. Later.